Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some online home decor shopping. I've been loving these videos. I love to do some online shopping, curate some items and share them with you because I do a lot of online shopping. I love to look online and browse and really fine tune my home decor here on the channel. So today I have quite a few items that I wanna share with you. I have found so much recently, I might have to do two videos because there's a lot. So we'll see how far we get on this on this video. I think what we're gonna do is go through Magnolia, McGee & Co. Both of those sites are having sales right now. I've also noticed some really good stuff at Pottery Barn and then Connected Goods, which is one of my favorite online stores. It's a little pricey, but they have just such unique decor that I think you're going to love. So to start off, we're just gonna go ahead and do Magnolia or go to Magnolia. Like I said, Magnolia is having sales right now. I always forget about Magnolia Home. For some reason, I will remember and then I won't go there for a long time. Then I end up going back and finding tons and tons of things that I love, but maybe that's a good thing. So there's a few furniture pieces that I absolutely adore from Magnolia. First being these nesting end tables. Now I have purchased these for a client project that I worked on and I love these. I love these tables because they give a little bit more detail to the side table and they add a little bit more to that space. So I just, I was excited to see these again. They have a little bit of that ball foot. They're made out of that black iron, that metal material that I absolutely die for in a space. I just, I love these. I think that they are unique and different and they're just such a good piece and they're on sale right now. Next is this Marley Chase and I just think that this is so beautiful in a little nook in a main bedroom or in a space that just needs a, a seat. I just thought that this was beautiful. I think you could add throw pillows to just add more detail to it. It's a definitely a more timeless style that I think if you bought it, you would have forever. Okay, the next is this Hancock card log cabinet. I want this so bad. I just, I love the apothecary style. I love anything with like drawers or lots of compartments and lots of detail. I love something with just a lot of detail. And this to me is just absolutely beautiful, something I would have forever. I've been kind of debating this piece, thinking about getting it for our living room as our new like media console, but I really hope that we're not here for too much longer. So it's hard for me to invest in a piece, especially knowing that I don't know what the next space is gonna be like as far as like what furniture we're gonna need. So I want this really bad, but I, I don't know. I feel like, I should wait, <laughs> but I love it. I think it's so, so beautiful. Now there's three little drink or accent tables that have caught my attention from Magnolia. First is this Archie accent table. It's in this like bleached wood. It's beautiful. I think that this would be so pretty mixed with so many different materials, whether that's boucle, linen, uh, whether you have more of a dramatic style or moody or a light and airy. I think that this piece is so versatile. But I also love this Ezra side table. I just thought that this one was a little bit more unique with its shape. And I think this one only comes in the black. But the one that I think is catching my attention the most is this curvy, like almost bulbous side table. I love this. It comes in the black. It comes in this like dark wood stain. And I just, again, I think that these pieces are so beautifully designed that they will stand the test of time. I feel like you could go with either one of these and you would have them for a really long time. So if you're looking for a side table, these are definitely ones to look at. These white marble canisters, I just thought, again, were so different. Something that you don't see very often. And to me, those are the pieces I really love to bring into my space and that I look for and I look hard for because those are the pieces that just make your house feel different. It makes your house feel unique. It makes it feel collected. It makes it feel like something you've been working on for a lifetime. And that's the look I strive for in my space and love. So these white marble canisters, I might need to put them in my car. I just, I think that these are so absolutely beautiful. I don't know. Again, 
like nothing I've seen. I say that a lot, I feel like, but it's because I'm sharing you guys curated items that I specifically searched for and curated so that's why I've never seen them because I'm sharing with you them with you. But I just, I love these. I think that these would be beautiful in a bathroom, bedside table, a bar, coffee bar, whatever. You could literally use these for so many different areas in your home. I just, these are so cool, so cool. This ceramic cake stand is nothing crazy. However, again with Something that looks so simple, but also has so much detail. It's the curves in the stand. It's the curve up on the like cake stand portion or the plate portion. It's just, I love it. <laughs> okay, also this little marble tray. Now I love a little bit of some curves. I just feel like, again, it adds a lot of detail. Don't get me wrong. I love a beautiful square marble tray as well. That's very just sleek and you know has those straight lines, but also adding in a few pieces like this marble tray that's a little bit more curvy to me, balances out the, the look and the space. So you could mix this with a straight edge and then put this one with it. And I just love that mixture of curvy and straight. So pretty. Oh, also this antique inspired mantle mirror. I think that this looks like something that is a hundred years old. It looks so old world to me and something I think is so beautiful in, or would be so beautiful in like a bathroom, a mantle, anything like that. I just, I loved this mirror. So I had to share that one as well. Let's see what else from Magnolia. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I was scrolling through Magnolia and noticed they have such good vases and pots right now. I mean, I narrowed it down to three, which are my top three favorites, and they are a good price. So, super stoked about these. Now, you guys know how much I love my vintage clay pots, okay? I am obsessed. I love them. I have quite the collection going. I've even had to like chill out a little bit because pots take up a lot of space and I have been like, okay girl, like you need to chill. Let's just calm down. But this one I might need. It's on sale right now and it's such a good price. Now it does seem like it's going to be a little bit smaller, but it also seems like the perfect size for a coffee table or a console table. It's so good. It is so good. It's, it's so good. I have another one from Pottery Barn that's also so good. This one is a little bit more of a vase, but I still love the curvature to the pot. It's just beautiful. And then this concrete round vase, again, I thought that this was absolutely stunning. I kind of want to get this for my patio refresh. I've been doing a patio refresh video, I think almost every year, and I'm planning it now. So I kind of love this one. I think that it would add just a little bit more of that rustic element out there. And I just, I think it's pretty. I love it. I love it. But then the one that caught me by surprise is this oversized distressed white crackle vase. I will be honest. I don't always love like the crackle effect. I don't know why there's just something about it that I don't always love, but this pot and even looking at the pictures online, it just seems to be done in a more elevated way and something I could absolutely, I don't know, I love it. Like I've seen these at our house and different places like that, but for some reason, this one stands out to me. It's a great price. I love the handles. I love the shape. It's beautiful. And I mentioned this in the last shop with me. I want to add more white vases to my space because I have so many of those vintage clay pots. I need a little bit of variety. So when I found this one, I was like, okay, I like that. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to McGee & Co. Now McGee & Co, it's interesting to me because sometimes I think some of the items are, you know, just appropriately priced and then sometimes the items are like, woo, my gosh. But I will say every single time I have ordered from McGee & Co, I have been absolutely, extremely pleased with the items. I feel like they just have quality pieces that you will have for a lifetime, especially because of the quality. And I've noticed a lot of the times I am okay with the splurge that I've made, if that makes sense. So the first item, a little bit more of a splurge in my opinion, but I, I don't know. I feel like it's really good. I feel like it's a little bit larger, so maybe it's really not that bad, but it's this stone box. I think that this would be so pretty either, again, coffee table, console table to corral your keys in, to corral receipts, sunglasses, you know, 
items like that. But what I love about, and what I feel a little bit more comfortable when I'm buying stone items is they will last you a lifetime. I feel like throughout the the trends and seasons, I always notice stoneware, marbles, those timeless materials really just stand the test of time. Even with all the different shapes and all of that, I feel like they always just look good with any trend that's going on. So to me, this is an investment piece, but it's also an heirloom piece. Next are these mixing bowls. Now these can pull a little bit more country. However, I love these. I think that they pull a little bit country, but also a little cottagey, a little timeless. I just think that these are so, so cute. I have the glaze colander, which is on sale right now, but I want to get the berry colander as well. This little colander set is sold separately, but it is so beautiful. You guys know how much I love a good pottery piece. To me, pottery is another one of those materials that just stand the test of time, especially if you get extremely picky with your pottery and buy the pottery that is a little bit more understated. I mean, you could get crazy. There's all different kinds of glazing techniques and different patterns people do. But to me, I like to keep it just as simple as possible because I want my items to blend with anything that I put. So when I'm buying things like this, I really do try to buy the simple ones, but this colander is special. It has, you know, the little handles that are absolutely adorable. It has the, the little stamp that I think adds like an old world little touch to it. And I have this and I can tell you it is such a good colander. We love it. I love displaying it in my kitchen. It's beautiful. This mirror from McGee & Co, I'll be honest, it's not something that I would maybe buy at first glance, but I was watching Shay McGee do her like remodel series on YouTube and seeing it in her entryway, I was like, wait a minute, I like that mirror. It was just so beautiful. And sometimes it's hard with online shopping, like being able to see the items in the space really does make a difference. So I don't know, I loved this one. I thought it was really pretty, especially in an entry or on a mantle or even in a bathroom. I love that it just has a little bit more of a unique curvature to it. It's gorgeous. It is a splurge but it's gorgeous. Moving on to Pottery Barn. I think I have quite a few things from Pottery Barn, so I will try to make it quick. First being these found reclaimed wood pedestals or like little risers. I had one of these years ago, but it ended. I ended up selling it to one of my clients because when I styled her home, we liked it in her space, but I think that these are something that can be a little difficult to decorate with sometimes, but when you nail it, it's like the perfect piece. It acts as a tray, it corrals items. Having different trays or little pedestals and different things like that, I find to be extremely helpful once you kind of get your flow with how you like to decorate on bookshelves, coffee tables, consoles, having just another layer just really, really helps with the overall design. Next are these little glassware. I could not, I might even have some in the, a little bit in, in more down in my saves, but this little, I don't, this drinking glass, I don't know what it is about it, but I love this. I think that it's just, again, unique, different, that's always what I'm after, that's always what I'm looking for, and I will literally dry my eyes out looking and scouring the internet to try to find just unique pieces and just different pieces. That's ultimately what I'm going for. Of course, I get sucked into some of the items that everyone else is loving, but for me personally, I really love to dig and dig and dig. And that's how I feel about this glassware. I feel like maybe it's not something you would maybe gravitate towards right away, but me, I love this. I love that it has like a base, but it's short. You know what I mean? That's kind of like me, <laughs> but I love these. I think that this, I, they're beautiful. Okay, so I put this in my car. I wasn't gonna share it on this video, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to because some of my clients are in the aviation industry and I found this almost like collector item. It's a shaker, a cocktail shaker, but it's in the shape of an airplane and it has a stand and it's just really cool. Now I styled their office and we put some 
some aviation pieces in there. I need to send this to her, but I thought that this would be so cool. Maybe you wouldn't use it, but it's one of those decorative pieces that just really help finish off a space and it could be functional if you wanted it to, but not necessarily have to. It also can be used as just decor, but I just thought it was a little bit different and cool and really definitely gives more of that like Ralph Lauren office vibe to me anyway. Also, another Ralph Lauren vibe that I found on Pottery Barn are these hound, like they, they, they have a little hound at the end. I'll put the picture on, but it's a little barware set with a little hound figurine type piece on the top. I love these. I felt like they looked like, again, Ralph Lauren, a very, just very elegant, very old, like, I don't know if old world's the right word, but very just designed space. And to me, it's these unique details that really take your space from kind of everyday, like tangible to almost like an intangible, what feels that way, because obviously it's tangible, but like to a, how do you, how do I describe what I'm trying to say? Um, designer, but like not just like even beyond that, like to spaces that you look at and you're like, wow, these kind of pieces are what make a room a wow room to me. I have these silver julep cups in my cart right now at Pottery Barn. I just thought that these were super different and really, really cool. My sister just actually thrifted little, um, they're kind of like your like kids cups, but they were in stainless and I, I kind of liked them. I was like, ooh, those would be good cocktail cups. So when I found these, I was like, ooh, that's like a pretty like modern take on a julep cup. So they're in my cart and I love them and I wanna get them. <laughs> okay, this bowl from Pottery Barn, I thought looked very similar to this vintage wood bowl that I have that anytime I bring it into my kitchen or bring it into a video, I always get questions about it, but it's vintage. However, this gives that look. I think that you could use this for your fruits and veggies, on a coffee table, console, really in any, on a pedestal that just needs something. Such a cool bowl, I love it. It also comes in white, absolutely stunning. Ooh, I also really loved this sculptural object from Pottery Barn. I thought that this would be, I think this is actually rather large looking at the dimensions. I think it's like pretty big, but again, adding these sculptural pieces really help your space feel a little bit more like you bought it at an art gallery and you brought it back to your home. Just something like really elevated and beautiful and different. So I have that saved. I've shared these before, but I'm sharing them again because I'm thinking about getting them for my back patio. Let me know what you think. I kind of want to go back to home goods and maybe get those olive jars. I mentioned in a video that I noticed an olive jar in my video. I didn't even notice it when I was at home goods, but I noticed it in my video when I was editing and I was like, wait a minute. How did I not notice that? But the home goods I was at is a little bit further out. So I didn't go back for it. However, I'm looking at these terracotta olive jugs for the back patio. I kind of want to get a couple of them. They're a little bit more of an investment for me, especially buying a couple. So I've been thinking about them, but I just, I love these. I don't know if I keep them empty or try to plant something in there. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, but I definitely want to bring a little bit more of that Italian vibe to our back patio and thought that those would be perfect. And then the other item from Pottery Barn, I have to mention, did I mention it before? I may have, but I found a clay pot that's actually rather affordable when it comes to clay pots and it looks legit. It looks so good. It looks like something that you could use for outside. If you love that clay pot look, but you haven't wanted to purchase the, the vintage because I know that they are an investment, this is such such a good option. Pottery Barn has a couple of these terracotta olive style jugs that I'm loving. They're in this like green glaze, which is so different for me, but I don't know, something about them 
just really excite me. I think that they are so beautiful. I found one with a couple handles and then I found a bowl that almost has like a dripping glaze effect, but it's green and then terracotta on the bottom. And then also this bowl, I think it's black, but it's, it's just like a wide rim bowl that you could, it looks more like decorative that you could put on a coffee table or styled in some way, whether that's a console table, island, whatever. But I loved that this had a high glaze ring, actually has two rings around it. Such a cool piece. Love that. I might love that one more than the, than the olive one with the handles. Hmm. Next from Pottery Barn are these metal vases. I just thought that these look different. I'm gonna say that so many times. I am so I get stuck on a word and then it ends up being the word throughout the whole video. It's it's hard. <laughs> you it, it just happens. But anyway, so I found these metal, like very tall vases. I thought that these would be really beautiful on the top of a piece of furniture. So if you have like a hutch or I have a barrister cabinet right here, just something at the top just to kind of add even more height and really elongate that piece of furniture. I don't know, I like these. Another item that I found on Pottery Barn that I think really just inspires me so much are these amber, jugs. These to me are so old world and so beautiful. I, you know, I've been looking at these for so long. I just, I really need to get them, but I know that they're going to be massive. But to me, these I feel like would be so beautiful on the top of a gorgeous hutch that you open it up and there's beautiful white linens in there and just like, oh my gosh, I just love these. I think that they are so beautiful. Again, so old world. Now to me, that is old world and this is like like so elevated in a way that, I don't know, is super inspiring to me, so I love those. Also on Pottery Barn, I found a couple reclaimed wood bowls. I found one that has handles, and I have one very similar to this, and I absolutely love it. It is a piece I've had for a long time and that I will never get rid of. I absolutely love it. And then there's another one that does not have handles. So if you're not really into the handles, they do have an option that has ones without handles. And then I think they have like one that's a little bit like maybe made out of uh, just regular new wood, but they have another option as well. I also love this set of vintage rolling pins. I have, I have one vintage rolling pin and I kind of want a little to start a little collection, but I need a space for them. It's something I can wait on, but I did notice Pottery Barn does have those. Also from Pottery Barn is this marble fruit bowl. Again, something I think is so beautiful. A lot of the times you see fruit bowls made out of ceramic or like wood bowls, but I don't see a ton of marble bowls. Maybe I just haven't noticed them yet, but I, I saw this one and I thought, ooh, that is good. So next, from the White Company, I found some beautiful spring stuff. Now, I don't always, you know, okay, Here's the thing. I go into Home Goods and I absolutely adore all of like the bunnies and the hearts and the Christmas stuff that I don't usually get from my home. Like I love to go look at it, but when it comes to bringing it to my home, it's like I freeze. Like I can't do it. I don't know why. It is so weird. But these I could absolutely do. So I found these little bunny ornaments and they are like in the shape of an egg with little bunny ears, but they're made out of all glass. To me, it's like that understated decor that just, that I can do. I feel like it feels so sophisticated and just so beautiful and like not like too loud and obnoxious for me personally. So those I love. In that same kind of thought process, these glass hand-blown eggs are so cute as well. These are like a, a ornament for a tree. These come in like a solid hand-blown glass and then a fluted hand-blown glass. So good, they are so good. Just again, just so beautiful and elevated. I just, I love those. Also from the White Company is this little ceramic bowl with these really deep scalloped edges. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then from the White Company, I found this kind of floppy seagrass oval tray. I just thought this was really cool and kind of like that designer look that you don't see a lot, but that you can get, you know, at a reasonable, a reasonable price. 
I just thought that was super cool. I'm gonna back up because I found some pieces from Amber Interior, Amber Interiors. Amber Interiors to me is, you're gonna, it's a splurge. But again, kind of like McGee & Co, these items are really, really, really nice in my opinion. So I don't know. It's worth the splurge to me sometimes when you know that you're going to have the item for a long time, it's gonna be made really well, and you know, it really mixes well and you could take it from season to season and mixes well with your other decor. To me, sometimes it's worth it to spend a little bit more. First item are these French wine glasses. These are hard to find, I've seen them at Crate and Barrel, I believe. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this is a piece that I recently brought in, minor vintage, but I, if I didn't have those, I would absolutely buy these. I think that they are just so beautiful and absolutely stunning on a tablescape. If you're super into that or you wanna get more into that and create you know, a dinner experience for you and your loved ones, these are so good. I also found this little barware set. Again, I just thought it was so different and so pretty. It comes with a jigger, a bottle opener, and a little scoop. I love that it's like the silver on the top, and then the handle is in this wood, and I just, again, so pretty. Also, this little barware spoon, I have, <laughs> I've been eyeing this for so long. I don't know why I haven't purchased it. I think it's because it's a little bit more of an investment. It's just so cute to me, and I'm just like, $38? I don't know. And then these super thin seagrass coasters. I don't know. I just love these. I think that they're really pretty. Also in that like rattan kind of family is this Evelyn pitcher. It has like the rattan handle and then it's kind of like that more hand blown pitcher. Gorgeous. Amber Interiors also has a pottery ceramic style colander that's really beautiful as well. I will say the McGee & Co is a little bit more affordable, but still really pretty, a little bit more of a different shape if you, you know, are into that. These also double as decor. I just beautiful. I love them. This little twin caddy organizer in this like seagrass material, I thought was so First of all, you can use it for organization, but if you know someone who's about to have a baby, this is such a good gift basket. You could put some diapers in there, some wipes, a couple toys, some muslin baby blankets in there. So, so cute. Also, I found these rustic bowls. I love that they have like the terracotta base and then the white high glaze in the top and in the on the inside. I do believe these are on the inside as well. Again, loved these. I thought that these looked like the vintage French terracotta like little pots. So if I can find a picture, I will put that on the screen. I have tons saved in my Etsy account, but I just, I don't know. I was very drawn to these. I think that these are just, again, just elevated. I just really want to elevate my home even more, just in a, in a way that I wanna have these items for a long time, that they can grow with me as my style continues to evolve. And I think the best way to do that is to really fine tune your style and really get, start getting really picky with quality because it makes a difference in your home. And to me, I would rather not buy anything for six months and be able to buy one thing that is higher quality than to shop constant drops because I, I can be a little bit of a quality snob, but I just think it makes such a big difference. It just, it, it, even though not, it just even past the, the quality portion of it, it almost makes it last longer as far as like you liking it in your home because there's something about a high quality piece that also makes you love it for longer. I hope that makes sense. It just, I don't know, high quality pieces just stand the test of time and I think really elevate your, your home in a way that patterns and textures can't do. Quality just really takes your home to that next level. And I mean like quality pieces. So really, I'm not saying you have to like, you know, go buy something that's extremely expensive. I'm just saying like if you're out vintage shopping or if you're out shopping, you know, at your local big box stores, check the quality of your items. Like this lamp back here is from Target and it is nothing, it's like not great compared to some of my vintage lamps. So really, really paying attention to quality. And I paid less, I think, for my vintage lamps than I did this lamp. So my point is get really, really picky with quality and 
really just, I think that that really does help elevate your home. I, that kind of sounded like word vomiting. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. Yeah. Get picky with quality. It really does. It really does help elevate your home. This horn box is sold out or I would have purchased it. This is so unique, so different and so beautiful. I will absolutely buy this in the future. It's an investment, but it is gorgeous. Also from Amber Interiors was are these bookends that are layered like black and white striped. I thought that these were really cool. They really just give me just, I don't know, like adding in that pattern with the material. So good. Now I think we're moving on to one of my favorite online home decor stores. And it's a little bit, I think it's a more of like a boutique. If you want to think of it that way, just, they have such unique pieces. I love them. I've purchased from them before. I'm going to be placing an order really soon with them. I just love them. However, some of their items are a little bit of an investment, but again, the quality so good. So the first item I'm looking at is this petite shopper basket. Baskets have been game changer for me. I have a Bulga basket in the trunk of our car. And whenever we go out to the grocery store and we have loose items, we throw them in to that basket and bring them inside the house and then put the basket back in the trunk. And it has been such a game changer. But also if I'm going to a friend's house for like a dinner party or I need to bring items, I'm telling you, you need a collection of these baskets. I also like the French market baskets, which I have purchased from Amazon. I will link those down below. They, they are such a game changer. And I do say you need multiple sizes. So my French market basket is in a size small. I think you kind of need a few different sizes, but also I think this little petite shopper would be really pretty just in the spring and summer with a beautiful linen dress to use just as a purse. I want this one. I like that it doesn't have really, it's just very understated and just very timeless. But I also love this palm leaf basket, this uh, Mar Moroccan palm leaf basket that gives a similar look, but just a little bit different. Like it's the same, but different. <laughs> so I have this one in my cart as well. I've also been thinking about getting a second Bulga basket because that thing is sturdy. I mean, it is so, so good. When you get your Bulga baskets, I've had a couple questions. They kind of come flat. So you need to open them up, get them wet and shape them and then let them dry completely. And then they just kind of form that new shape and oh, they're so good. They are so, so good. In fact, if I was to tell you my favorite basket or recommend one basket over any of them, hands down the Bulga basket, I just feel like it is so sturdy and that I, it just can carry so much and it can carry heavy stuff. So I love this one. That's like the, it's a black handle, but it's all kind of like the same tone at the bottom. Beautiful. It also comes in like this like reddish tan leather handle as well. Gorgeous. Also from Connected Goods is this ceramic berry plate. Now I've mentioned a berry bowl, which is more of like a bowl. This is a plate, which I thought, oh, I like that because you can rinse out your berries and leave them out on the plate. You know, maybe put a little linen napkin underneath or whatnot, but just again, different. I haven't seen anything like that. So I really, really liked that. Now I have three throw blankets from Connected Goods that are catching my attention. First is this hand loomed blanket in like this gray and cream texture. This is so beautiful to me. I love that it's a little bit of a different kind of like, I don't know what the right word is. I don't know if it's boho. I'm not sure, but I just think that this is absolutely gorgeous. It brings in a little bit of that pattern, but in an elevated way, in my opinion. And then the second one that I have in my cart right now is this wool blend throw blanket that has this like olive stripe or olive accent down the ends. Green is my favorite color. I absolutely love green. And I just feel like it's funny because I talk to my friends about this and we always talk about like green or blue. Don't get me wrong. I love blue. I love blue and white transfer wear and dinner wear and all of that. But when it comes to making a decision, I tend to lean a little bit more towards green. I really loved this wool throw. I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and such a pretty throw that you could add to the end of your bed, the back of your couch, over the arm of your couch. 
gorgeous. But the one that is probably the safest and the one that really excites me as well is this wool blend throw in the color natural. This I don't think has any pattern on it and it's just like a very timeless throw that you could bring back out when you just need some calm. Like for me, I've been introducing more pattern into my space, but sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming and I just like want to reset. So I'll pull out my plain blankets that don't have any patterns or anything going on with them and just reset and it just is so calming and refreshing and it kind of like resets me and then I can get back into my pattern play. This is the perfect blanket for that. The next item from Connected Goods is this wool throw pillow. And now this has tassels. Normally I don't like ta tassels. I don't know why. I, I guess I don't like not like them. I just feel like I don't gravitate towards them. But this pillow I just thought was absolutely darling. And again, I think it comes down to the material and how well it was designed. Love this. Okay, this, as soon as I'm on the notification list for this little slab is what they're calling it, this marble slab is so good. I mean, this, uh, ew, it's so good. I want it in both sizes. I think it comes in a small and in a large. Oh my gosh, I love this. I absolutely love this. I love that it has a curve. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. This is what I'm talking about with Connected Goods. They just find these pieces that are just so different and unique and just, oh, I love them. I love them. I cannot wait for that to come back in stock. I will buy it immediately. Next from Connected Goods are these octagon marble bowls. I just, again, thought they, these were super unique and super different. They come in three different sizes and these are so good for coffee tables, bathrooms, bedside tables, literally anywhere that you need to have a little corral bowl. So good. I may have shared these iron sconces with you before, but I have these iron candle sconces in my car at Connected Goods. And to me, I think that this is just such a beautiful way to bring in just a decorative detail into any space. So if you have like a little skinny wall, try putting a candle sconce on it. I get a little freaked out to light my candles up there, but I'll burn them down and like let them get a little drippy and then leave them that way. This one is so pretty. Also from Connected Goods is this candle snuffer. Now I mentioned one from Amazon, it ended up selling out. So when I saw this one, I knew I had to share it, but this one has like a bell shape at the end, but it doesn't move. It's one solid piece. It's made out of this black iron. It's beautiful, definitely a piece you could have sitting out on your coffee table or you know wherever you have your candles. It's beautiful. Now this scalloped ceramic pie dish is another item that I've had my eye on for a while that I need to get. I, I feel like I'm struggling getting it right now because we're out of the holidays, but it is so beautiful. I love that it has that extra little detail of the, I don't know, like the little wreath in the center, oh, it's beautiful, I love that. Also, I have this uh, hanging bath brush puck in my cart. I don't know why I need this, but I do. I love that it's like in the shape of a puck. I don't know, I love it. I think it's really pretty. It comes on a rope, so you can just hang it in your bathroom, in your shower. I love that. I have had this straight edge chopper in my cart for so long. It ended up selling out. They alerted me that it was back in stock and I just haven't purchased it yet because it is a little bit more of an investment, but it is absolutely stunning. And I finally have a sourdough starter. If you are around during Vlogmas, I tried to start one. I couldn't figure it out, but my friend gave me a starter and I'm gonna be making some sourdough. So I told myself if I was successful and if I, feel like I will continue making sourdough loaves, then I can treat myself to this straight edge chopper. But I could also use this for other, you know, cooking reasons, but it's so good. It is so good. I know that I've shared this ceramic brush dish with you before. It's sold out, it's back in stock, so that's why I'm sharing it again. But it's another one of those pieces that I think is just absolutely beautiful and I would be proud to have out on my countertops. I need to get this one as well, but there's just, li listen to all the things I'm telling you about. There's just so many things I need to narrow down, what I can buy and what I can treat myself to and place an order, but oh, 
I like this one. Also, this brass wire rack. Again, I just think that this is something that's so pretty. I love that this is uh, lifted or raised off of the countertops with like these like grate type style because the bottom of your soaps can dry out and all of that. So I, I like this one a lot. Connected Goods has some of the absolute best wire baskets I've ever seen from any site. So I've saved them again. I did find some from H&M Home that were a little bit more affordable, but they're just not these, you know? That's why I always say sometimes being cheap can cost you more money because you end up buying the cheap and then you end up buying the one you actually want because it's the one you want, it's better quality, it's, you know, the design you want, whatever the reason. Sometimes it costs you more. <laughs> I did find a couple of baskets that I thought were pretty cool from connected goods like this rattan catch-all basket. I also think that this would be a beautiful laundry basket that I would actually keep out in my laundry room. I think it's really, really beautiful, but you could also use it as a catch-all. Like if you have stairs and keep it at the bottom of the stairs and kick, you know, catch all of your items, take it up, you know, whatever. And then also this, another item that I just, I want so bad is this hand-blown heirloom sipper. This glassware is something I will have forever. It is so beautiful. And I get very meticulous when it comes to my barware or really any home decor. Like I've mentioned in so many videos, I like to be picky because I like to stare at my items and love my items. I know that that sounds silly, but it's fun and life is life is short. So have fun, you know, get the things that just set your heart on fire. I have the uh, black ceramic vase at my my coffee bar right now but they came out in this they came out with some in this mocha color that is so pretty I want this <laughs> it's like in this beautiful mocha brown it's so gorgeous oh I love that like mocha brown color mmm so good. Also, these ceramic side plates are absolutely gorgeous. Ceramics or handmade pottery is always going to be quite pricey, but it's so worth it. Another basket that I found from Connected Goods is this sage scalloped storage basket with these scalloped edges on the lid, and it kind of like bulges a little bit. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The last basket I think that I have from connected goods is this rose rattan basket. It's like an oval shape, a little bit longer with these beautiful handles. Again, another one of those items that you can use or baskets that you can use for laundry, catch-all, throw blanket corralling, whatever just such a beautiful basket. And I think baskets are a really beautiful and elevated way to bring in kind of that rattan or wicker material into your space, which I find in so many designer spaces. And what really kind of complete that elevated look, having a little bit of rattan really helps with that. The last items from Connected Goods is this opal brass vessel. And I think the stand, or is this the same? No, it's okay. So there's a stand and the vessel. They're sold separately. This is so cool. So basically the stand, it, it comes out and it has like a little <laughs> piece to hold the vessel that you put into it. Having that double layer to me and the fact that you take it out is something that's like really that extra detail. Oftentimes you find pieces like this, they're all one piece. I love this not only because it feels kind of old world in the sense that you can take it apart. It's not like mass produced, you know, like in, in one piece. But also I love that you can take the vessel out, do your floral arrangement, like work with it and then put it back in. Such a cool piece. I absolutely just, I love that. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna have to do a second video because I have other stores to go through, but I think, oh wait, I forgot about that. I have a couple more pieces from McGee & Co. I'm gonna mention real quick because I'm a little further down and I've saved a couple more items. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I've been finding such good stuff. First are these outdoor chairs, and I don't know what it is about outdoor furniture, but why is it so dang expensive? These are expensive. Like, these are a splurge. I mean, I, I would have to save for a while, but these iron chairs are absolutely gorgeous. I. I just, I love these. I imagine these mixed with a vintage wood table outside. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. They're beautiful. These pillow covers I have had 
my eye on these for I think the entire time I've been doing YouTube. I love these pillows. Now I mentioned that I love green, but something about these pillows, I think it's cause it's like a warmer blue. It's like, it's almost like not blue, but it is blue. But these pillow covers are so beautiful. I love these. I've always loved them. I don't know what it is about them, but they're, they're stunning. Okay. And then also from McGee and co is this mortar and pestle marble and wood mortar and pestle. I have so many of these in my Etsy cart and they are so insanely expensive when you find them vintage. This isn't vintage, but it's one of those pieces, you know, as you use them, it's going to put or use it. It's going to patina. And I feel like it's something I just like need to get because compared to the vintage ones, this one's actually a, a very good price. <laughs> And then the last item that I'm going to share from McGee and co is the Arwen vase, which I own. I love it's this glass fluted vase. It is gorgeous. It has proved to be one of my favorite vases to use because I keep going back to it and something I think meshes so well with so many different styles and so many different areas of my home personally. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this very long online home decor shop with me at some of my favorite stores to look at. As I mentioned, there will probably be a second video coming out really soon, kind of same idea because there's other stores I didn't even get to with really good stuff as well. But let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together